This is a different type of video, and we're outside. Oh god, you bad drip said it. Uni during COVID. I've been at home the whole time. I, I've been just standard, nothing special, nothing great. What about you? Because you went in, and now you're back. Ali's back. I'm He's back, here. and I'm not going back until in, next year. In the area of. Back when in you, the country. Back in the he doesn't, he doesn't go in this country, we're not going to disclose it. Yeah. It's a bit of an inside thing, but yeah. you get to know the Health and safety, future. health and safety. Yeah. Confidentiality. Confidentiality. Do you recommend uni? I don't know, I haven't actually been yet. But from my one month that I was there, a bit overrated. People say invest time of your life. Does uni allow you to develop your skills elsewhere? Does it allow you to have time to just develop other skills outside of uni? One thing I'd say is don't make uni like your sole purpose. Like, you've got to be there three to five years. You're going to get your degree anyway as long as yeah. you work hard. Always have something on the side so you're building and you don't just come out with just a degree. Because like we're going to be the biggest channel in the world at one point. <laughs> if we don't just give out advice, we follow it as well. Who's who's going to be PFA player of the year? Bruno Fernandez. <laughs> Who do you think? Why do you think he should win it at uh, 100%? To be fair though, most goal comp contributions in the league consistently over a season were the United team. Stat pattern no... in the best possible way. <laughs> as Mark puts it, stat pattern in the best possible way. He one's really stood out this year. Like, Players. Wait, we're talking Prem, aren't we? Yeah, yeah Prem. Prem. Yeah. If you asked me three months ago, I would have said Son was up for this, but he's dropped off a bit. Kane? If he's injured as well. And you say De Bruyne is the best player in the league, he's been injured. Bruno well. or Kane? Bruno, just because he's always fit. Wait, 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 wait. You know who's a big shout for this? Who's a big shout? Gundogan. I'm going with Bruno. Well, what was the plan? I was just... Nah, people just follow each other too much. Just in life in general. Do you know, I think people care too much about what yeah, other yeah. people think? I think that's at a certain age, though. Like, when you get to a certain age, you realise that what other people think is relevant. Because everyone goes in their own direction. Any tips, though? people who care too much about what others think. It's sometimes you have to go through like making the mistakes of following people to make you realise, I'd say, just can. The best thing is to get to that point earliest in life. What do you think? People are just scared. Just scared, isn't it? Yeah. So they don't know what to do, so they just copy what they think is right. Thoughts on social media? Incorrect perception. Incorrect. Misleading. How bad do you think it is on mental health? Uh, I think a lot of people think that it's giving you a, like unrealistic expectations, but a lot of it's quite good though. It can it depends how you use it, it depends who you follow. If you're following a lot of influencers that you're trying to be like, then you're probably going the wrong way about it. If you're using people as motivation from yeah. your own person, then mm, that's the yeah. way you need to angle the use of social media. I saw this one thing, everyone said people are flexing but just change your mindset and take care of motivation instead of getting annoyed that people are flexing. Yeah. I think it's just a subconscious thing you subconsciously people compare and I want to talk about just a subconscious mind in the future but and how powerful it is. Just remember, everyone shows you the best part of their life. Everyone's got problems, they're not going to show you that. Just, 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 just 